The next problem that we're going to discuss is one of those exciting questions, which is more a real life question on probability. Let's read this question together. This question says, in a science quiz, two teams work independently on a problem. They are allowed a maximum of 15 minutes to solve the problem. The probabilities that each team will solve the problem are a half and a third respectively. Calculate the probability that the problem will be solved in, 15, in the 15 minutes allowed. Now, to, to start this question, it's very important, first of all, to read carefully and to determine what is given to us in this question before we look at, at what they want us to do. The very first important word in this is that there are two teams. Let's call them team A and team B. And very important that these two teams work independently. And you will remember we spoke about independent events before. So start thinking about independent events. Then something else that is given to us that these two teams are allowed 15 minutes and many students and teachers get confused with this 15 minutes but this does not play a part within the probability. That is just that we work out the probability within a time frame. But what is very important are these probabilities given to us. They say each team will solve the problem uh, the, I have the, prob the probability that they will solve the problem is a half and the, the other one is a third. So let's now say this is team A and let's now say this is team B. So let's just go and write this down. Right, as we said, the very first important thing that was given to us in this question is that these two teams work independently. Now, independent events is something we discussed in previous sessions. And we said there's a rule for two events when they are independent. And I hope you can still remember that rule. And it was as follows. The probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. And that is only true if two events are independent. Now, our two teams, team A and team B, are now the two events and they work independently so therefore we may use this rule. The second important thing that I highlighted in the question for you was the two probabilities given to you and that was for team A it was a half and for team B the probability was given as a third. So that was the probability that these two teams will be able to solve the quiz. So two probabilities are given to us. It's given to us that they are independent. They work independent, these two teams. And then now for the question. So this was our given information. What do they want us to answer? So let's just read that final question one more time. As you can see, we already dealt with the independent we already worked with the half and the third. We said team A will solve it. The probability team A will solve it is a half. The probability team B will solve it is a third. Now for our question. Calculate the probability that the problem will be solved. Will be solved within the time allowed. Now in this question, you will agree with me, there was nothing mentioned that team A must solve it or team B must solve it. They say the problem will be solved. So let's answer this question now. Right, what you need to understand about uh, w uh, the question that is phrased this way is that when they say, what is the probability the problem will be solved? What you need to ask yourself is, by whom? Is it by A? If it's by A, we know the answer. It's a half, so that is given to us. Is it by B, team B? No, because it's given to us. So what, what do they want from us? They don't mind who solves it. They didn't specify it's team A, team B. So what that means is, if they say the problem will be solved, it can be solved by team A, 
or by team B, or by both. Now you must remember what we said in previous discussions about team A, or well, what we said, event A, event B, or both. How do we put that in symbols? And I hope you will agree with me. That is where we say A or B. That was the definition of A or B. That is the probability they want from us. They want the probability of the or. So remember this A or B means it's A or B or both. And in this question, they don't mind who solve the problem as long as it's solved. By A, by B, or by both within the 15 minutes. All right. So now, how will we calculate the probability of A or B? We have the probability of A, we have the probability of B, and I think that will remind you of something which we call the inclusive principle. And this was the P of A plus the P of B minus the P of the AND. And you hopefully still remember that rule from our discussions on the grade 10 probability. That the probability of A or B is the P of A plus the P of B minus the P of A and B. This is what they want from us. Do we know the probability of A? Yes, we do. It's given to us. Do we know P of B? Yes. Do we know the probability of A and B? And look at what was given to us. The two events are independent. So that P of A and B was not given to us. But what was given to us was that two events are independent. And if they're independent, that P of A and B is the same as the P of A times the P of B. So what are we going to do? We are going to substitute this with the P of A times the P of B because the two events are independent. So now we're going to write the rule as the P of A plus the P of B minus the P of A times the P of B. And because it's multiplication, let's just keep it in brackets. So we've got the P of A plus the P of B minus the P of A times the P of B because of the AND, because of the rule for independent events. And now we may just substitute our values. We know the P of A is a half plus a third minus a half times a third. So these two fractions we're going to add. And a half plus a third, you will agree with me, it's got a common denominator of six. And a half is three over six. A third is two over six. So when I add them, I will get five over six. Minus, if I multiply those, one times one is one. 2 times 3 is 6, remember, with multiplication of fractions, we don't need a comma denominator. Now you can see we need to subtract the two answers, and we've got a common denominator of 6, and what is 5 minus 1? And 5 minus 1 is 4 over 6, which you may simplify to 2 over 3. And this is now the probability that the problem will be solved within the 15 minutes allowed.